The bull market of DeFi is slowing down, but DeFi and blockchain aren't going anywhere. We already start to see the beginning of the next bull market with NFTs and DeFi going to other blockchain like Ban and Smart Chain. In this video, I will explain how you can benefit from the next bull market of blockchain as an investor and as a blockchain developer. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I talk about DeFi and blockchain development. If you are interested in becoming a professional blockchain developer and make $100,000 per year, check out my free training down below. One of the next bull run in blockchain is NFT or non-fungible token. With NFT, you can represent assets that are unique or if you want to say it in a more fancy way, we say that these assets are not fungible. Technically, we are talking of ERC721 and ERC1155. If you don't know what are these two standards, I have a video on this topic on my channel. So go watch them. It's very important to understand how these tokens work. There are different kind of NFT. Some can represent on-chain assets, some other can represent off-chain assets. You have gaming assets and collectibles where your NFT can represent a character and some in-game assets. An example of that is crypto kitties where you collect and breed virtual kitties. There was some crypto kitty that sold for more than $100,000 in 2018. Another example is Decentraland where you buy virtual real estate on the blockchain. Some property in Decentraland sold for $174,000. You have digital arts where an NFT represents some piece of art like an animated gift. Recently, Christie auctioned its first digital art NFT for $130,000. Currently, the volume of transaction of NFT is still small, but it's growing really fast. So how can you benefit from this NFT? For gaming NFT, one interesting strategy is to arrive early to get some really nice opportunities. For example, at the beginning of CryptoKitties, it was possible to buy some rare kitties for a decent price. In Decentraland, at the beginning, some people bought a lot of property for cheap and resold them for a lot of money. The big risk is that you pick a game that never become popular and you are left with NFTs that nobody wants. For digital arts, you can check out platforms like Rarible and Super Rare. The value of an art NFT depends a lot on the artist who created it. So you need to follow artists, make sure they don't produce too many NFTs, otherwise they become less valuable. And also study how well the NFT of such or such artists sell in general. As for DeFi NFT, it's still a bit early. We need more projects to pop up for this sub niche. So I don't really see any way to really profit of that in the short term. Another possible niche for the blockchain bull run is DeFi, but on other blockchain than Ethereum. There is some DeFi going on on EOS and Tron, but where it's the most promising is Binance Smart Chain, the DeFi blockchain of Binance. Most of the projects there are just copy and paste of Uniswap like Pancake Finance with a liquidity incentive mechanism. I personally start to receive some serious interest of entrepreneurs who want to hire me to build their project on Binance Smart Chain, so there is clearly a trend here. How to profit there? Exactly like you did for DeFi on Ethereum. So you get early in project and you participate in the liquidity mining incentive program. One word of caution though, I haven't seen any real innovation on Binance Smart Chain. It's just plain ripoff of project of Ethereum. So it's probably going to be even more short lived than the DeFi bubble we saw on Ethereum. Everything I show you so far was from the point of view of an investor. But actually, if you really, really want to take advantage of the next blockchain bull run, you have to learn coding and become a blockchain developer. You don't have to become some sort of hotshot that can hack Linux like Neo in the Matrix, but at least you need to be able to code some sort of prototype. If you just trade cryptocurrency, that's a good beginning, but that's not enough. All the really successful people in blockchain have some coding skill, even the CEOs. When the next bull market happens in blockchain, everything will go very fast. In 2017, in the biggest bull market that blockchain ever saw, I found my first blockchain job so easily. So I went to a blockchain meetup and some guy came to me and asked me, can you code a blockchain project? I answered yes, and boom, I was hired on the spot, end of the interview. I just told him how much I wanted at that time, 6,400 US per month, no negotiation, he was accepted. But I was ready. When the bull market happened, you will have tons of opportunities. On LinkedIn, I was bombarded by job offers every single day in 2017. 
But if you don't already have the technical skills when this happens, you will miss all of these opportunities. By the time you finish to learn, the bull market is over. So you need to start your learning before the bull market starts, which means now. I show you a couple of where the next bull run can happen. So it can happen with NFTs, it can happen on the Binance Smart Chain, and Binance Smart Chain is a copy and paste of Ethereum. So everything you learn for Ethereum is still applicable. Solidity, Truffle, etc. It's all the same on the Binance Smart Chain. So the big question is, where do you start to learn blockchain programming? You need to learn the Solidity language to write smart contract on Ethereum. And for this, you can follow my series on Solidity. So it's a super, super popular series on my channel where I break down in short videos all the concepts you need to know about Solidity in a progressive way by starting with very, very easy concepts. So do yourself a favor, go watch this series so that you can be ready for the next bull market. I'll see you there.